everyone, this is Ginger from my sister Scrapper. Uh, it's time for the very first Cards TV Design Team Challenge for 2013. And the challenge for this uh, week is Baby New Year. So we were supposed to make a card, a layout, or a craft project for a new baby. So this was a fun project for me. And once again, I'm trying to go through my stash in my hoard vault of paper that I have and try to use some stuff that I already have. So for this challenge, um, I decided to create a mini album for a new baby. And the paper line that I used was in, has been around for a while. It's an older one. Again, I have it in my stash and I used the Baby Steps uh, paper line from Simple Stories. And I also, for my sentiment for my mini album, I used the Cards TV stamps for the birds. And it's got some darling little sayings on here. And you'll see the reason why I picked the one that I did. So what I did on the front cover was um, these three little owls here are darling. And they were stickers. So I went ahead and layered them on top of some crafts cardstock and put them on some uh, foam tape. So I put three little owls down here and the little sticker baby I put on a little banner and put them on some foam tape and then I stamped my sentiment baby it's owl about you and that it's owl about you is from the cards tv for the birds stamp set so I bound the mini album with my cinch I tied some little gold uh satin ribbon right here not satin kind of a silk ribbon right here and the mini album measures roughly three by four four by four or something like that and they're little pocket pages so you open it up and on the inside front cover, this little ABC was another sticker that I layered on some craft color cardstock and just adhered it down on um, the two sides and made a little pocket. And I have some little tags, and again, these were all stickers from the sticker sheet that I just layered on top of craft paper. And I inked around all of my edges with walnut stain from Tim Holtz. So those go back in there. And then this is just a plain little tag that I created and a little, I tried to make it like a little uh, Instagram photo frame or a little Polaroid photo frame. So you put a little photo right there. So the pages are pretty simple. They're just little pocket pages. It's just a scaled down version of the pocket page uh, tutorial that I do have on my YouTube channel that uses a, tw a 12 by 12 piece of paper. But I cut this down uh, to use an eight by eight piece of paper to make them a little bit smaller. So what I have first is a little sticker that says Heaven Sent, and each one of these has a pocket in it. And these were all cutouts from the design paper, so I just cut them out and then I put photo mats with craft paper on the back side. It says Baby. So you could actually do a photo of the new baby for every month, his first year, in this little mini album. And then at the top, there is a larger photo mat here, so you can put a photo here and a photo here. And all these photo mats are exactly the same. The design paper on both sides is exactly the same, and I used some little ribbon I had in my stash and some twine from the twinery to tie the ribbon around and some extra white eyelets from We Are Memory Keepers. So those go back in the top pocket, and then you flip it over, and you have the same pocket on the other side here. It says Bundle of Joy, and then this is the tag for this. So I didn't have to do any trimming to these. All I did was round the corners with my corner chomper, and they fit inside these little pockets perfectly. So... That worked out fabulous. So it came together really quick. And then this one's as cute as a button. And there's a cute little hot air balloon. Some journaling lines on here as well. This paper is really darling. It, again, I've had it in my stash forever. It's an older line, one of the first ones that Simple Stories came out with. And it's already kind of pre-distressed, so the walnut stain went really well. And then there's a photo mat for this. This one says little one. These are all on craft card stock, these little stickers, and then they're uh, popped up on some foam tape to give it some dimension. You could actually put a little journaling here or maybe another little small photo there if you wanted. This one has a little antique baby carriage, and this says perfect. And again, there's lines there and a photo spot there. This one says so perfect, and here's that cute little owl. That's why I thought the little owl sayings went really well with this. Um, paper line from that Cards TV for the bird stamp set. It says Precious Little One, so special. But I do have to confess, the original one that I wanted to use off of this stamp set, and I'm sure that this probably only happens to me, because it usually does. I wanted to use Owl Always Love You, because that was actually one of the designs on one of the larger uh, 
journaling spots and card tags for the stamp set and I pulled it out and I set it down. I was getting ready to use it. But do you think I could find it when it came time to finish this mini album? No. So I, it's floating around somewhere. I spent, I don't know how long. So we had to go to plan B. So looks like I'm going to be buying a new stamp set. <laughs> anyway, there's the little photo map for this. Does that ever happen to you? You put something down and you get ready to use it again. And then it's like it walked off, I guess. I don't know. There's those cute little owls again on a little sticker. And there's the photo album, the photo map for this one. I love this little, that little owl paper was so stinking cute. So the stamp set really did, any of the sentiments went really, really well. And over here, this is too cute for words. And here's the photo map for this one. It's as cute as a button. There's little buttons there and a little heart. And again, the photo map at the top. This one says you are special, and I love this one with a little clothesline with the little onesies hanging on it. I thought that was darling. And some little journal lines down here. The photo on the back. So the colors in here could either be for a boy or a girl, either one, I think. There is pink and blue in it, but they're kind of muted, so I think it doesn't really matter. This one says love, cherry, adore, and then it's got a little ruler here on the side. Photo right on the back, and there's the little hot air balloon sticker. It's darling. And the photo at the top. This one says precious. And inside here says sweet dreams. And there's little stars hanging and some journaling lines. And the photo mat. And the last one, little sticker says bundle of joy. Again, I layered it on some plain craft cardstock and cut around it and then put it on some foam tape. Love the polka dot paper. It was probably my favorite. And again, there's a little bird here and a cute little lace doily right there. And the photo mat on the back. And then there's the photo mat at the top. So there's six pages in here. So a pocket on each one would give you 12 photo mats here plus extra photo mats. Six extra ones here. So you can really put oh, 12, 18 photos in here. No, more than that. 12, 24 photos in here. So yeah, hello. Be great for somebody's purse. Be great for a baby shower gift. And then the last one has a cute little cupcake with a little single candle in it for the 12th month. I thought that was darling and in the picture there. And here's another sticker from the sticker sheet. Again, I just layered it on some craft cardstock and punched it out with a circle punch. And the back inside cover has uh, the cute little hot air balloon tag. And this was actually a four by four square and I just trimmed it, trimmed it down to fit on the back inside cover. So there you have it. That's my little mini album. And then there's the back. Love that polka dot paper. That's my little project for the Cards TV Design Team Challenge to make a baby project or a card or a layout. So there you have it. I hope you'll join us for the for the challenge this time, um, and I'll put the link in the description below. There you have it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.